Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a uh, quick video regarding a couple thoughts that I had with uh, YouTube and just uh, my role in the YouTube uh, space, I guess you can call it, in general. Uh, I'm hoping that this video is gonna go uh, fairly quickly, it's gonna be pretty short, and I don't plan on do doing any editing for uh, this video, just super raw, there we go. So, where to begin? Um, so about, uh, I believe it was two weeks ago, uh, a very big uh, prominent YouTuber named uh, Philip DeFranco, uh, big YouTuber, he's been on the platform for uh, I think a decade now, and he is, uh, he came up with a video that said uh, basically kind of that um, he's done in a way, oops, sorry, I'm not really centered, uh, just take this. Okay, all right, this is gonna be a lovely not edited video, but yeah, and uh, he pretty much just said that he's tired with uh, the way that YouTube has been uh, treating his uh, content, how it's keep uh, they keep uh, demonetizing him and uh, all that jazz, and he's just simply telling the news, and I, I know that uh, his content is completely different from what my own content, but he did raise up some interesting points about uh, how YouTube is just going in a direction that is not really favoring, favoring content creators on the platform. And that really got me thinking that uh, ugh, maybe maybe YouTube is not the way to go. Uh, but then, on the flip side, I see my uh, favorite uh, Twitch streamer. Uh, he, go by, he goes by Maximilian Dude. He mostly does... Um, uh, and his niche is fighting games, and uh, he, he does other uh, games too, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, on his YouTube channel, he recently hit uh, 80,000 subscribers, which is amazing. It's incredible, uh, but that's not where his core audience is. His core audience is Twitch. He does pretty much stream every night, except for like one day out of the week. And uh, he does make some uh, content on YouTube that is uh, not his uh, Twitch videos, not his live videos on Twitch um, and on YouTube. Uh, sometimes he will put uh, the full uh, like eight hour Twitch stream that he did on his YouTube channel and you can just watch it there. Uh, he also makes content that is um, not a bit not on his Twitch stream, uh, just like content about uh, games that he's interested in, mostly about fighting games, so uh, that, that's definitely his niche and I love him for that. Uh, but just seeing the, him having 80,000 subscriber video on his YouTube channel kind of offset what I was feeling about YouTube as of uh, Philip DeFranco's video where he says that he is basically quitting YouTube. Uh, probably not exactly quitting YouTube, um, but he's definitely reconsidering his approach on the internet and uh, internet content creation. And uh, it's very possible that uh, DeFranco might not be on YouTube anymore. Uh, he has uh, uh, his own like special, it's kind of Patreon support for him, uh, but it is a um, developed uh, for him specifically and it, it's not part of Patreon. So he has his own uh, audience that he can survive off of, which is fantastic. So what does that mean for me? What, what has been going through my head during uh, all this uh, rise and fall of uh, YouTube uh, and just internet content creation. Well, I've been kind of, uh, I don't want to say struggling, but uh, you may have noticed that uh, my content on uh, McHugh, uh, th this channel, is, uh, I don't want to say waning, but it's very not consistent and not necessarily, and that I also don't mean in terms of uh, upload schedule, just I think maybe you can tell in my videos that uh, I'm not really all there for most of those videos. And that's the problem with me is that I'm a very unique per unique person and not to, that I'm trying to praise me or anything, but it's uh, I'm, I'm a very different person. I like... I, I enjoy having a 12-hour gaming session with friends, but I also like going out into the world and going to bars and just traveling to different places and enjoying life outside of the internet and life outside of being in front of a screen. So it's kind of weird the way I want to do things in my life, and especially going towards um, 
internet content creation, and I keep using that freaking word. So uh, what does that mean for me? What's been going through my head? So I think what I want to do is, and this is, I, I also have some other ideas in my head. Um, so for like the, about the past year or so, uh, most of the content on this channel has just been um, uh, vlogs, just daily or weekly vlogs about just things that are on my mind and uh, just fun little things. Like I took my dog to the park for the first time. That was a lot of fun. But at the same time, I tried, when I originally switched to vlogs only, I wanted, I was, I was missing doing nerdy gaming content, just nerd stuff. I, I, I missed that a lot. And in a, uh, a marketplace, if you will, on the internet where nerd culture is taken over, it's really hard to stand out. So I think my mentality was, okay, I should stop doing this if I want to grow on YouTube. And I should just start doing vlogging because uh, it's a little bit more different and it also challenged me to do different things and come up with new ideas which has been great but I, I'm not passionate about uh, sharing weird things about my life. I like talking about things like that. Uh, I love spending hours upon hours doing that but not in a it's weird. Not in a space where it's like expected like continuous amounts where every single topic or every single video that I would post in this example would be about something I'm thinking about it's just I'm just kind of in a weird situation here so I have had some ideas floating around my head I've had the idea of starting a new channel um, that is just uh, about talking about uh, nerdy things, things that I'm interested in, and having this channel be like my personal channel where I just upload content just about my life, vlogs, uh, just things that I think about that has nothing to do with um, nerdy uh, subject matter. So that's kind of the, the direction I wanted to go, and uh, I'm still kind of working out what I exactly I want to do for that. And it's just, uh, on top of that, I just have my own life. I have uh, schedules to do. I'm trying to become a voice actor. Uh, I I want to do start woodworking. I want to start doing uh, cooking. I want to get back into music and do all these things. But at the same time, I love making content on the internet. It's, it's my one true passion above cooking, woodworking, and getting back into music. Internet content creation is my life. This is what I'm passionate about. Uh, so that puts me in a little bit of a pickle. So uh, I, I, I should have said this at the beginning, but uh, I'm also uh, somewhat starting a podcast with a, a friend of mine. Uh, it's uh, I don't expect anything too grandiose coming from it. I don't expect to uh, uh, take the podcasting um, community by storm or go viral or anything. It's mostly a podcast about uh, just me and my friend just talking about uh, whatever comes to mind. Kind, kind, it, we talk about like nerdy things, we talk about things about our lives. Uh, it's mostly the idea behind it is just to uh, have a, a structured, scheduled meeting uh, just to hang out and to talk. That's really what it boils down to. And if people want to uh, listen to our what, what's on our minds and uh, all the more reason to uh, do that. So that is called uh, Flick Your Bic with Ben and Nick. Uh, Bic being the lighter and flicking it and lighting the Bic uh, more. It's a reference to like um, like 80s and 90s uh, rock uh, soft ballad. So everyone would like get their lighters off and, uh, while the music is going. Uh, so I'm not sure when we're actually going to uh, upload that. And I don't know what the scheduling is for that. Uh, we've uh, recorded a couple episodes and uh, my friend is uh, new to, like, uh, content creation on the internet, so I'm kind of showing him the ropes about uh, how to do this, so that's another main reason why he wanted to start doing it himself. So we got that in the works. Uh, I'm uh, pretty excited to start uh, uploading content for that. Uh, I will, I'm not sure, I will definitely upload those podcasts to YouTube uh, and also um, like iTunes and wherever you can find podcasts. Just this podcasting is a whole new uh, area of um, the internet that I don't really have experience in. So, <clears throat> so 
that will be a pretty rough beginning, but uh, I think I will enjoy it, and it'll be fun. It's just fun to branch out, and we'll just learn different things. So, more about the podcast in another video. Another thing I've been really thinking hard about is I kind of want to start streaming. Uh, I know uh, Twitch is growing. I know a lot of YouTubers have been moving onto the platform in general, uh, kind of jumping ship from uh, the sinking ship that is YouTube. And that's, I'm kind of doing it for that reason. I'd say maybe like 20% uh, of the reason I want to start Twitch or start streaming is because of uh, YouTube kind of sinking. Uh, the other 80% is, is just, uh, I, I just want to learn more about streaming, and I really like the uh, Twitch streaming community. I don't really, uh, watch streams all that much, or watch Twitch that much, uh, except for Maximilian Dude, of course, uh, but, uh, I definitely want to start doing this, and just broadening my horizon, just learning more, and just to maybe capture a new audience and maybe have a build a better community because I think Twitch is a very interactive community which I really like how they function that instead of the YouTube comments where it's just sentences that people can post on the internet versus streaming it's it's live you can read something and you can respond it's it's a very back and forth a uh, very uh, <laughs> the word I want to use is sensual but that's I'm think I'm trying to think of another word, but sexual is the one that came to mind. But uh, anyway, um, I really like what Twitch is doing for streaming. Now, YouTube streaming is a thing, but I think I want to do Twitch. I think Twitch is. Uh, I just see when I think of streaming, I think Twitch, and I think that's home. I don't know why. I, again, I don't watch Twitch or streams that much, but. That just seems to be the place to be. Twitch is vastly and outrageously growing at such a fast pace, so why not throw my hat in the mix? So, what does that mean? Oh, boy, this is already 12 minutes long. Sorry, this is running super late. So, what does that mean for uh, me and uh, the McHugh channel? I, will, I still want to upload content to McHugh. I think uh, if I do make a new channel um, about nerd stuff, that'll be its own thing. If I Twitch stream, that'll be its own thing. Uh, that might, well, probably will bleed into the other media. Uh, same thing with the podcasts. I'll upload that somewhere on one of my internet media things. Uh, but this channel, people who are subscribed to this channel specifically, I think I'm going to make this channel my personal channel and just upload just uh, things every now and then. I'm not sure if I'll do it every week anymore. Uh, it's just... I don't want to say daunting, it's just, I, <laughs> once you've spilled your guts about a lot of things, what's there left to do? Like, I think on this channel I'll just uh, upload um, vlogs about uh, what I've been going through my life, uh, travel, uh, things I do just randomly, like take my dog to the park, or just other random thoughts I have thinking up in my head. Uh, so... This channel will still be alive, just maybe not, maybe I just won't be as active, and maybe the content might not be what it originally, originally was, which was gaming, then it's just a vlogging, so yeah, that's a whole mess. So, that's kind of a, a brief summary of what's been going through my mind for like the past two months, really, it's just me wanting to broaden my horizons. So... What does this mean for me and gen my just my general existence on the internet? Well, I plan to do the podcasting. Uh, I'm I'm kind of taking a more of a producer kind of role and having my buddy do um, uh, a lot of the main things where I'm taking a producer role. And for uh, streaming, uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while. However, my internet living living in the uh, countryside in uh, rural Iowa, I certainly don't have the best internet connection, so that's already been very difficult. I actually tried to test streaming on YouTube, and I, it was like super laggy, and it, it just did not work. So I'm going to try to make that better and see what I can do about that. So <laughs> this is a very off-the-cups video, but that's basically it for... Uh, what I have cooking up for the future. Uh, let me, I, please, I would love to know what your thoughts on all this if you uh, care to comment. Uh, I would love your feedback because I'm kind of just 
swimming in the darkness right here. And, uh, yeah, I would love to get some feedback on this. And the at the end of the day, though, I do plan on doing the podcast. I do plan on streaming eventually. It may not work out very well at this location, but eventually when I move out of my parents' house and into a city where I have better internet connection, I will definitely be streaming without a doubt. I'm so excited for this. But that's that will about do it for me. Uh, next Monday, uh, expect a, a very interesting video uh, that I have uh, cooking up, I guess is the best way I can say that. So uh, anyway, that's all I've got for uh, now. Uh, I hope you guys comment and uh, I just want to say again, thank you so much to the people that are watching this, this, and just thank you for supporting me in any way. Your view, your one, like, your view means a lot. It honestly, it really does. Even if you click on this video and you click off within the first five seconds of the video, because uh, on a uh, data mindset, that is uh, all the time you have to impress people before they click off a video. So honestly, e even if you click off on that first five seconds, it means the world to me. It really, honestly, truly does. Uh, but I've already rambled enough. This is already a very long video, so that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and maybe I'll see you on a different platform. We'll see. Anyways, have a good one.